Action News Now Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Chief Meteorologist Chris Kuiper joins us now. Chris, we're, we're heading into the weekend, yep. looking forward to it, but it's going to be a scorcher. Yes, and next week is going to get even mm -hmm. hotter. So, boy, uh, make sure the pool is working good, I would yes. guess. Yeah? Clean. <laughs> yes, there you or go. Or something. That too. Uh, let's go talk about those temperatures, which got up to 98 degrees this afternoon in Redding, 96 in Red Bluff, 93 in Chico, 94 in Corning at Oroville. This is about average, close to it for this time of the year. Chico's actually a little above, uh, below average for this time of the year. 86 in Mount Shasta City, 87 in Bernie, 83 in Chester for a summer afternoon, for a July afternoon. Hot, but not blazing hot out there for us. Uh, you're thinking about doing some barbecuing tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. Why wouldn't you do some barbecuing? All right, noontime. Hey, sure. 90 degrees already, so it's going to be hot. Don't burn those hot dogs either. Uh, by 4 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe you got your friends still over for the noontime barbecue, or maybe you're starting a new barbecue early or something like that. 94 degrees. So you're out there working the dogs and the burgers, but hopefully you're not uh, getting roasted by the heat as well. By 6 o'clock in the evening, all right, yeah, 96 degrees. Oh, don't burn those hot dogs. Always end up doing that. Uh, so seasonably hot again tomorrow. After that is when it really starts to crank up as far as the heat goes. All right, fire danger in the mountains, in the high range. Uh, humidity is not going to be rock bottom low. There's not going to be any tremendous wind out there as well. But things are starting to dry out. Uh, we haven't had rain in, boy, six, uh, seven weeks now or so, it looks like. And so uh, things are starting to get seasonably dry, we'll say it out there. Remember last year, we were at record dry levels as far as our fuel moisture is concerned. This year is better, thanks to our wet winter, uh, but they are starting to dry out now. All right, air quality uh, in Paradise and in Reading in the moderate range tomorrow. Everybody else in the good range, which is good to see for air quality. And pretty quiet satellite conditions across the area. We are tracking a little bit of monsoon moisture. Doesn't look like much, does it? A little bit down towards the desert southwest, which may try to sneak northward Sunday and Monday of next week. And that may try to trigger a few thunderstorms in the mountains. That's something we'll track. But for the time being, tonight and tomorrow, Nothing going on in the mountains and clear skies, of course, for us in the valley. Low temperatures in the valley in the 60s tonight, 67 in Redding and in Red Bluff. In the mountains, 50s or even upper 40s tonight in Chester. So if you're going camping this weekend, the afternoons will be nice, they'll be pleasant, they'll be warm. But then overnights will be a little bit chilly. Just keep that in mind. Uh, tomorrow, high temperatures, 80s and 90s, 89 in Bernie, 86 in Chester, 100 in Redding, 99 in the afternoon high temperature in Red Bluff. So it will be seasonably hot out there again tomorrow. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast with the weekend is always in view, showing the temperatures creeping on up there slowly and steadily. Sunday, we're in the upper 90s, as will be Monday and Tuesday. So that's starting to get a little hot. And then after that, we get into the triple digits. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, here we go, 102 Thursday and Friday. That is hot. Redding's forecast, oh boy, whole week of triple digit temperatures coming your way. By next Wednesday, we're at 105, and then, okay, Thursday and Friday, 107. So for the past week, I've been saying seasonably hot, and when it's 98, 99, okay, that's not too bad. 107, that's starting to get bad. So uh, it's looking like it's going to get hot next week. Yeah. So <laughs> I was yeah. going to say, you know, we have just get up, really get up at the crack of dawn if we want to yes. get out and enjoy the outdoors. Yeah, because the mornings are nice and the afternoons, especially next week, you, that'll get you. Yeah, it gets rough quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully there will be good, good weather tomorrow. A low